We're, a lot of the work we do is around healing, especially healing around sexual violence. But you'll hear often our girls just talk about what we're even doing with the project of around visibility is that they feel seen and heard. We love you! We, we love you! We love you! We, we love you! We don't have these spaces anywhere. Growing up, I was always insecure about the color of my skin. Like, everyone on TV, like, I didn't see girls like me. I didn't have toys like me because, like, it wasn't the norm. For a long time, that's just how I thought I was supposed to feel. So to have people who care about me, like about just being a black girl, is something truly special. They learn so much in little time, whether it's about helping a friend who experienced sexual assault, black feminism, um, black women artists, how to be photographers. Just actually having that space where I could like express myself. So, you know, it's been really impactful to me, like just giving me confidence, you know? letting me know that like there's other girls out there like me who are going through situations like me and I'm not alone in this fight. You'll actually see some of them, the work and the things that we have talked about over the summer come out through their poetry, through rap, through dance. Hey! Hey! If black girl rules the world, she'd be water, hips making waves like she found herself through house music, found herself through mirrors, ain't all one shade, proud to be different, black girl got body, the source performance, the story of a rape survivor, was really touching to me because it helped me with my healing process. And to just know that there are other girls like me and being able to talk about it, to just say those words and speak it into existence is something that's truly powerful, that something I didn't even do when I was alone. I don't know, it changes your life. <laughs> yeah.